Yes, mano e mano. This is where the rubber meets the road, boy. Is it? God damn it, will you stop going in inconvenient spaces? The first time I played this game, what I did was I picked up a shotgun in the room and used it to kill him from cover. Ow, ow, ow. My favorite part is how you knew where I was before I even emerged. Also, that whiskey did save me. Come back to me, life. Oh, yeah? What are you gonna teach me there, Barrett? Heads up for science, Barrett. You think you would figure out this whole thing? Let's go ahead and get out. Not that. Really, this is all you need to do to succeed in this one, for sure. Did you just blow yourself up? Ha! Ah! You're a bright one there, Barrett. You died because you were stupid and gassed yourself. Benton, I shot you in the back of the head five times with the 357, but that's besides the point. Don't die on me yet. This Boy Scout's got a few questions to ask. Your leader. The one who called you Barrett. Who is he? Why is FEMA sending you after Seraph Industries? FEMA? <laughs> you think FEMA gives a rat's ass about some rinky-dink biotech corporation's company secrets? <laughs> yes. You got worse enemies than FEMA. Yeah? Like who? Who? Real health organization. What about them? King shot court gardens. Her house. Tell him. <coughs> Tell him. Tell him shit cock vagina penis. I don't even know what that means. I know, Grimace. It's like I was on time. Sent you straight to hell. No. I think my favorite part of that fight is how he pulled me out of cover while I was doing that roll. They see you. No, I was flying dark in case it got hot. You all right? I'm fine. Patch me to Seraph. I'm getting you out of here first. Get to the LZ. I'll pick you up there. Also, oh, there's a whole area by behind here, but you need to uh, open up with hacking. Same thing with this area. Although you can jump through this. I said you can jump through this. Damn it. Jump through it. Why must you fix me? Maybe I can at this point, which is kind of fucking stupid. Oh well, whatever. That was my best fight with Barrett by any stretch of the imagination, but I have nothing to prove with this game, really. What the fuck? Shit, Jensen. <laughs> I just wanted to bring out your gun, you decide to waste one of those, huh? Whatever. Go ahead and reload. Why would you put the grenade throwing button right next to the holster button, hmm? What I like to think to just happen is he reached for his gun and he accidentally flipped out a grenade, okay? All right, Mal, get me out of here. You ready to get out of here, Jensen? Yep. Yeah, take us back to Seraph Industries. None too soon, if you ask me. Strap in and hold on. <laughs> Strapped in? Whoop. Now we can skip this. It's just us flying through the air with the greatest of ease. Why does my revolver have a pin on it? Is it for firing bullets? Is it a firing pin? Ha <laughs> ha, small balls. Didn't think about that, did you? <laughs> yes, yes, it's swooping in majestically. Jensen. I need to speak with you. Meet me in your office right away. I don't okay. Francis, but I have to debrief Sarah first. I suppose you could, or you could hear what I have to say and see if that doesn't change things. Richard out. It probably won't. We need everyone on high alert. It's not only the pro odds you might want to get a tagger, but the 
wonder if I could... Where are my things? I should be able to shoot here. That's weird. <laughs> I'm like trying to uh, avoid cameras even in this a little bit. <laughs> Gotta fight off that instinct. See, so wasn't it? Up oh, there you are. What do you want? As much as I hate to admit it, I need your help. That signal you shut down in DRB territory. It's been active for almost a year. You're telling me someone outside this company has had access to our network since before the first attack? I've detected intrusions before and shut them down swiftly every time. But whoever every designed this particular algorithm is good. Very good. You've told Sarah quite good. Here's the thing. The intrusions were possible because of a backdoor access into our security system that I never even knew existed. The one Sanders team used to get inside our plant. I've worked here for seven years, Jensen, and this is the first time I've seen that particular access route. David Sarif created it, specifically to bypass the firewall. He's hiding something, and I think you should find out what it is. Why me? Because, as far as I can tell, Sarif created that access and was streaming a lot of data through it shortly after your ex-girlfriend suggested he hire you. Yes, it is. And we get a thousand just for talking to you, so I guess it's kind of worth it. I guess. See, nothing else in here. Actually, I got my wine. Wine. Wine, wine, wine. Oh, it's a vodka. You know what, Butch? But you're, you're an art right guy. Even though you definitely are an asshole. Now I'm gonna go see the boss. So, you stay here, okay? How you doing, fellas? You keep track of everything? That's good. Alright. Alright. Let's see the boss. Things are too clear. I need another drink. Damn it. I tell you, he gets buzzed like nothing and then it wears off like nothing. Excuse me. Mr. Jensen, isn't it? Maybe. Sir, you have that charity dinner? In a moment, Isaiah. I was hoping fucking HDR I might in run into this. you, Mr. Jensen. Bill Taggart. The founder of the Humanity Front. I know who you are. Yes. Yes, I imagine you do. As David Sarah's top security man, I imagine you have quite the file on me. But I assure you, Mr. Jensen, I am devastated by recent events. Really? I do not support what you and your company are doing to mankind. I believe it's extremely dangerous. But abolishing human enhancement technologies will only be achieved through legal means. I'll keep that in mind. This is your first day back since the accident six months ago, isn't it? Sir, we have to go. What happened to me was no accident. Ah, oh, my mistake. But it must have been stressful facing down a second incident so soon. Where's the I L1 option so I can tear you a new one? Unpleasant memories. I'll we'll just keep her cool. Or, uh, no, you know what? My memories are not your damn business. You go fuck yourself, Taggart. Taggart. Did I hit a nerve? Forgive me. It's my I'd kill you if I had the option, Taggart. I suppose, to want to ask the difficult questions. You see, I find that ignoring them doesn't make them go away. You might want to keep that in mind. Now, if you'll be so kind as to excuse me. Just get out of my face. Damn it. I don't have time for you. I can't cue you at this moment. I'm pressing it as hard as I can. And your friends. Yeah, here's Isaiah's here. You're Taggart's aide, aren't you? Dr. Isaiah Sandoval, isn't it? No need to play ignorant, Mr. Jensen. I am quite sure you have a file on me that's as thick as the one you have on Mr. Taggart. You're an outspoken activist in your own right, Dr. Sandoval. When you have seen the things that I have, you find you have no choice but to stand up and be counted. I've Frankly, looked at the I'm internet, man. I've seen things. Yourself. Isn't more Stuff. disturbed by the dangers of this technology. Don't want to talk about Augmentations that. help a lot of people, Doc. Handicapped, war vets. Yes, but at what cost? My own friend had his life ruined <laughs> by these so-called enhancements of yours. My own baby. A man baby. much like you who had no choice but to become augmented. Yet once he was, too much power can make you do terrible things, Mr. Jensen. I suggest you think long and hard on that. Okay. Maybe I will. Also, your friend's probably dead. In fact, when I say probably.
Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into a forced conversation. I hate these damn things. Uh, Sarah. Boss, we need to talk. Because they're unskippable. Wrong? I'm not sure. Did you set up a private access route to bypass the company firewall right before you hired me? Like <laughs> what? Pritchard said someone's been using it to access our system since before the first attack. The security measures he and I set in place never stopped them because we didn't even know the loophole existed. Ah, oh, I see. Frank's fixed that, though, right? He has now, but he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? No. Oh. You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board, Preacher may be paranoid, but I gotta admit, I'm wondering what was in it, too. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. But the important thing is, you found the hole and plugged it. We're secure now. Oh, you're gonna get plugged you're yourself, you little shit. Lying to me. They actually help us track these guys. So let's just stay focused on what's important. All right, what was it? I think it was refocus here. I want to, believe me. I want to catch these guys as badly as you do. But that breach is responsible for every security crisis we've had, including today's. If you want me to stop these guys, I need to know what kind of data they've had access to. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry if I seem evasive. The truth is, I've had a lot of other things on my mind. I'm trying to secure a future here for all of mankind. I can't let trivial security concerns get in the way when people like Bill Tagger want to see me fail. No, you're my best warrior, Adam, and I, and I trust you. I know the loyalty you've shown me will only continue as we take this fight into the future. Yes, Because that's what's will. really important, mm -hmm. isn't it? The future. Yeah, yep, yeah. mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and refocus again. Boss, I think we're getting sidetracked here. If you want me to win this war for you, I need to know how badly we've been compromised. Don't try to bullshit me, I need me, to Sarah. know what was in that data Chicken street shit. in case our enemies accessed it. You think they could have? No shit. I see your point, son. That might be bad. Look, I'm not going to share every single detail of this data with you. As CEO of this company, there are things I can't release, even to you, Frank, or Athena. I Athena's the secretary, a team by the way. Here. But we each have our own roles to fill. I decide who gets trusted with what, and in this case, you're just gonna have to do your job without knowing all the facts. Megan said you could roll with the punches. Prove she was right. Such a comeback. It's definitely not placate. What does Megan have to do with any Megan. of this? Boss, what does Megan have to do with any of this? I thought we were discussing a security breach. No, Adam. You were discussing it. I just told you it's time to move on. I'm gonna enjoy killing you. Megan was a valuable asset, Adam, in more ways than one. If she pointed me in a direction, I followed up on it. Now, if the data I stream goes public, it's likely to get embarrassing, but that's all. And it's the kind of embarrassment the shareholders pay me to deal with. So I don't need you wasting your time getting sidetracked. You understand? To be honest, I think we just hit a uh, a bullshit moment, but we may be able to pull this back. Let's still try to refocus. I would like nothing better than to trust you with this, boss. But trust is a two-way street, and the way you've handled this entire conversation so far makes me think that it's you who isn't trusting me. Why, boss? What is it you're so afraid to tell me? My home address, because I thought you were going to kill me. Of course I trust you, sir. It's not that I'm afraid to tell you the truth. It's just that, honestly, I'm afraid you'll take it the wrong way. All right. Look, the truth is, I set up a confidential data channel for a private investigator, someone who can run covert background checks on people, potential new recruits, like you. You what? I had to, Adam. You were a liability, remember? You'd just been fired from SWAT. Now, Megan believed in you, but I had to be sure. 
Look, I don't want this. To I don't come think you'll find us. anyone at the station who will say a bad thing you about you me, Sarah. For yourself Go ask him again. But Adam, you'd better be sure. Why? What do you mean? I mean, sometimes the past should stay in the past. Once you see that data, you can't unring the bell. When you're ready, come back and talk to me. We need to discuss our next move. There you go, you old bastard. Yeah, we did silver tongue that. I thought he was going to bullshit me. Sometimes those are semi-random, which can lead to annoying events. So he said to our computer, we're going to go there and learn things and stuff. I'll even read those a little bit, I guess. They are kind of important, I suppose. Yep. Also, we have never gone to this, but nothing to worry about. Oh, that's the camera station. This is the one. Mad Drake. There you go. I didn't even need the password reminder. I remembered. Be with Greg Thorpe. Oh, maybe that's why he didn't show up. Where is he? Let's see. Third floor. Condo. Brooklyn Court. Find the entrance behind the... Okay, it is Chase's building. I fucking thought so. Oh, we'll go see him. All right, and then, of course, we go here. We learn about his parents. We go, wait a minute. Those aren't his parents at all. Holy shit, cock. Uh-huh. They were security consultants at White Helix. Uh-huh. Then all of a sudden, they have a baby out of nowhere. Like an RKO. Let's see what else do we have here. Anger management issues and potential post-traumatic stress disorder. Nah. Nah. I don't think so. I think that's a bunch of bullshit. Athena tells me you spoke to Saraf. Did he happen to tell you why he made us look like idiots? I'm handling it. You can imagine how relieved I am to hear that. I'll tell you what. While you follow any lead Saraf spoon feeds you, I'm going to do what I should have done in the first place and backtrace that signal. That's your pride talking. Still, get back to me if you find something. You meant when? Pretty sure I didn't. Oh, so small balls. If you want to get my attention more often, make sure to use my name. Because I didn't see that any of those times. I may have been distracted by something else. Uh, let's go ahead and go here. Let's go talk to Seraph again. Oh, the excitement. And he doesn't know that I killed the police department yet. Maybe someday. Alright. Let's try this all over again. We also need to go talk to Jenny and go to D-Row. Here, this is for you. It's a corporate passport encoded with your biometrics. I've set up a false flag routing which should get you to Henshaw Island without any problems. Cool. You're sending me to China? What about FEMA? FEMA's got nothing to do with this, trust me. We'll have better luck in China. How can you say that? I saw the bastard who killed Megan pulling his men out of that facility. I left one of those men dead in its underground storage bay. I know that, Adam. Frank was monitoring the whole thing. So I also know that before he died, that man gave you an address in China. I want you to check it out. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Adam. There's a reason this company's under attack. You think it has to do with the Typhoon or with some other top secret military project that I haven't told you about? The thought had crossed my mind. Yeah, well, it doesn't. The work Megan's team was doing before they were killed, it was redefining what it means to be human. This company, Seraph Industries, was about to lead mankind to its next stage in human development, self-controlled evolution. Can't you see how scary that can be to some people? Sure. I also see how lucrative it can be for some others. It's never been about money for me, Adam. It's been there about are, the music. There are people out there who don't exactly feel the same. Like who? I'm hoping you'll be able to find that answer for us in China. So get going. Farida's prepping the chopper. I'm sure she is. Anyway, we got other things to do. I need to go and see Greg Thorpe, a.k.a. Don Jordan. Get, my, get myself a discount and, you know, finish some business. Oh, the excitement. Entertain Detroit, Saloto. Do 
Do I have enough for my Icarus? I want my Icarus. 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 Look out, shit! Now I feel complete. It's true, small balls. All those tall buildings you can fall off of. Very handy. Alright. I need to go talk to Jenny. On the way, we'll meet some old friends. Also, I have two things on my map. Why is that? Ah! It actually, hmm. actually I do get a quest marker for that. Neat. I vaguely remember that. Talk to her, them first. Hello. Welcome. I'm glad you came. I can never properly repay you for what you did, of course, but I would like to help out any way I can. What do you have in mind? There's a gentleman named Sarah who works in the area. His business causes him to move around quite a bit. But at the moment, he's occupying an apartment in a building on Earl's Court. If you mention my name, he'll give you a discount on his wares. He deals in... well, he's a gun runner. How does a guy like you know someone like that? Growing up in my old neighborhood, you learn pretty quick to cultivate certain types of relationships. I see. Well, you no longer have any use to me. Which means you need to die. Like the rest. Ha! Huh. No, there will be no running. Anyone help! Huh. You can phase through all the doors you Anyone want. Help. Oh, time for a Snickers. There you go. I'll just say the terrorist got you. Nothing to worry about. Fuck you, Lambert. And now the seal there, Tomb. There you go. Nothing bad happened. Not a single thing. <laughs> Snickers puts Jensen in the mood for penetration, says Small Balls Walrus. Yeah, sounds about right. Alright, let's go talk to Jenny, then we'll come back and maybe buy a few things. How you folks all doing? You have anything? No. This is for Fisher. <laughs> you're still sitting there like a little person. I hope when we come back to uh, Detroit, you're still doing that. Let's see how she feels. She'll, she may not give me that bonus, but I'll get over it, maybe. Did you get everything? We have to get that son of a bitch, Jensen. I think I have everything. Excellent, Jensen. I knew I could trust you. You identified the shipment. Oh, good. We were undetected. And my guys got their hands on Double T. Awesome job. What else you got? Uh... Oh, let's see. Let's go with Moto. I think O'Malley's plan was to start a controlled gang war between the derelict row ballers and the Motor City bangers. You might want to check into that. Really? All right. I'll keep that in mind when I review all the evidence. All right. Evidence. I paid a little B and E visit to O'Malley's apartment. There was a second shipment of weapons, government issue. I don't know how he got his hands on that type of hardware, but the man's got reach. Great work. Found something else? I found a stash of illegal drugs. Not much, but enough to get him convicted. Good. The more dirt we dig up on that asshole, the better our chances to put him away for good. Got anything else? No, that about covers it. I guess here's the murder weapon. I don't really care. 
Here's the weapon used in the dealer's murder. Hope you can make good use of it. You bet, big boy. I've got a feeling O'Malley's guy will become a lot more receptive to interrogation once he knows I can pin this murder on him. Well, that's it. You did a great job. Here's the stuff I promised you. We've got more than enough to nail him now, and I want to make a move before that son of a bitch gets wise. But I ain't got no backup, and I doubt he'll go down peacefully. You've already done the bulk of the job. You want to put the finishing touches on?